So this is different. Usually I'm covering sci-fi shooter games or action-packed multiplayer experiences, mostly games such as Halo. However, today we're going to take a look at Sonic Superstars because I've been a massive Sonic fan ever since I was about three years old. I've played almost every single Sonic title up until the last five years. Meaning, you know, I missed out on Mania and um, Origins. And then I guess you can kind of say I haven't played uh, Sonic Dream Team, but that's an Apple exclusive, so it doesn't count. In other words, for the first time in a while, I went to go and buy a Sonic game. And I bought Sonic Superstars for, I think it was 33 GBP, that's British pounds, uh, which is like 50 US dollars. And this was a sale price of the game. The game initially is 50 pounds which is like 70 US dollars for a 2D side-scrolling Sonic game. Now, I don't have a problem with this if the game is absolutely amazing. However, the short of it is it's not. It should have probably retailed at the discount price it's currently selling for, and the sale price should be like 25 pounds. So I bought the game, hopped on, and first of all, the animations that are used in the game for the cutscenes, very nice, like that. Although, I'm a bit disappointed there wasn't any voice acting and it was just music and animation. It's a nice touch um, in terms of the cutscenes that are used in the game. The music is also pretty good. And the actual gameplay visuals, the graphics of the game and things, are, are very nice. Um, it takes a lot of inspiration, I think, from a Sonic fan game called Sonic Fan Remix. Um, as there's a few things snuck in there that really emulate uh, what that game set out to do before it was ultimately shut down. Now the introductory level was pretty good, I'm 99% sure it's just another Green Hill Zone, except they have given it a different name, it looks a lot like every introductory Sonic level ever, which is always Green Hill, and of course usually it's you know, the easiest level um, in the game. However, as things progressed I started to notice that it didn't feel like a Sonic game, it didn't feel fast. It felt like I was being forced to be a bit slower, uh, look for platforms and things to jump on, and it was a lot more vertical rather than horizontal. And I quickly found out the issue is because of the game's camera. Now, Sonic should be a fast-paced, enjoyable, somewhat like free-flowing, and even a, a way to somewhat describe it would be the game controlling itself experience. Uh, and you just have to do a few inputs here and there to like jump on top of enemies or spin dash or collect rings. Um, you shouldn't be thinking all the time about what's coming up ahead, it should be visible. The issue with um, Sonic Superstars is the camera is zoomed in super close to Sonic and other characters to the point where you can't see what's coming up. So. You don't know if there's an enemy appearing in one second, or if there's rings appearing, or if there's something to jump on, uh, the different pathways you could possibly take, because the camera is so zoomed in and focused on Sonic that you can't see the environment, so half the time you just get hit by something that you weren't anticipating, and in some cases even die. There's also a couple of bugs here and there. Those I can kind of forgive as they're not entirely game breaking and no game is perfect. There will be patches to fix bugs in the future, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure they already released a hotfix for the game. However, because of this camera issue, it was almost the sole reason that for the first time after eight years of being on Steam, I refunded a game. Um, I've never done it before, I didn't know what the process was. Um, I've heard about people refunding before, um, and I, you know, I played one hour of the game, and I just thought, you know what, I'm not enjoying it. Um, the initial levels, the first, you know, 15, 20 minutes, was mostly enjoyable, and it got progressively more frustrating as time went on, and after one hour, I thought, I'm going to stop playing this, um, and I'm probably not going to play it uh, much more because I don't want to play something which isn't an enjoyable experience. So out of curiosity, went to Steam. I thought you would have needed a reason such as, you know, it, it's broken um, or it's not what was promised, things like that. Um, but there's legitimately just a section for it's not fun, it's not enjoyable. Um, so I, you know, contacted Steam support and said this is precisely what the issue is. It's not fun uh, and here's why, it's because of the game's camera. 
um, if they fix this issue I would be happy to repurchase and um, literally within an hour um, Steam gave me a refund. Um, I went to check the other reviews out of curiosity and there's a few people that have also said the same thing um, so maybe when reviews stack up like that with the same uh, reasoning for asking for a refund Steam just kind of very quickly um, grants them. I'm not sure because I don't usually do this kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd make a video on it um, because it's a unique, unique experience to me. I want to play more games this year. That's one of the tasks that I've set myself um, because my Steam library last year was... Um, I did play a little bit of Sonic Frontiers. I played about five hours of it. Uh, and then it was just Halo, Splitgate, and my own game called Cross Planet. Um, and that was basically it. There might have been like a couple hours of Fall Guys in there. Um, but for 365 days, that was the extent of my gaming experience. So I said to myself, 2024, I'm trying out more games. So I played more Frontiers on uh, the 2nd of January. Um, I've been playing Star Wars um, Republic Commando. Um, I've done a video of that on my channel. I'm going to be posting more of those soon. And... Um, yeah, I tried Superstars. Um, sadly, this one didn't hit, but hopefully, um, you know, I'll use the refund money to go and buy a couple other games and see if I enjoy those. And uh, hopefully I do. So yeah, um, that's it. This is very different for me. I don't expect this to get many views. If it does and you're a Sonic fan, uh, let me know what you think of the game in the comments below. Um, in terms of subscribing to the channel, I'm not going to tell you to do this because the reality is I'm probably not going to be posting Sonic content. Um, I know that Sonic fans are kind of a die-hard community. Um, if you're looking for Sonic content, it's not something you're going to find on my channel every single week. However, maybe I'll post a Sonic video, you know, once every three or four months or something um, when I inevitably do a video on Frontiers as well because I do have that. And, you know, if Dream Team comes to other platforms, I'll definitely play that as well. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, however, if you like shooter games, uh, definitely consider subscribing. If you want to keep to stick with my own video game, which is called Cross Planet, it's a third person shooter that I'm making, um, you can subscribe for that. And just all round, I mean, other games. As I said, I'm going to try and play some more. So, variety content. Uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, uh, thanks for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, one day I do return to um, Sonic Superstars uh, when it's on sale or something and some issues have been addressed. I would like to play through the full game as it does look like something that I would enjoy um, had it had a bit more time in the oven, as they say.